Well, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for two days, Tuesday's end of day trading, the uh, 28th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store or download it at uh, www.tradesignal.com. Okay, now in terms of the uh, European markets, really a mixed session. Uh, obviously, you're awaiting Mr. Trump's speech in the evening. Okay, um, again, markets will be dictated by that. Okay, as always, when America sneezes, the world catches pneumonia. Now, the FTSE 100 up 10 points, 7260 region. The DAX uh, up 11, French CAC up 13. Uh, but it was the IBEX today that certainly outshone with 1% rally itself. Okay, again, Asian markets uh, trading sideways as well. So, uh, in terms of uh, the uh, economic data from the US, we, uh, we in terms of US data, it was certainly mixed. Although um, initially the GDP data certainly came in uh, weaker as well, person consumption expenditure as well, certainly weaker. But the market was, uh, or the dollar itself, certainly caught a lift with the Red Book index stronger than expected. Chicago PMI, consumer confidence, Richmond Fed all coming in. And we have three potential Fed speakers, Fed speakers on tap. I think one's out next in the next 50 minutes or so. Okay, we have API data as well. Uh, we've got Mr. Bullard, uh, we have Mr. Williams. I can't remember the third one, okay, but uh, and again we have Mr. Trump's speech, that's at 2 o'clock in the morning UK time. Okay, so again, expect volatility overnight, okay, in terms of the reaction to Mrs. Trump. Now let's see exactly where the markets are positioned, From usually from a technical perspective, we can always tell where the markets will go. Uh, in terms of the uh, European 350, looking at the European 350, certainly pulling back uh, here, Okay, mm, from a weekly chart perspective, so you can get a better opinion. Certainly a topping tail there, okay, indicating potential weakness going forward. And a 60-minute chart really does, I mean, I think this is across all European indices at the moment, is you have H&S formation tops, and that certainly isn't a bullish sign. That generally indicates to me that the potential reaction to for Mr. Trump's speech will be one of a move lower, okay? And this is something that's reminiscent across all European indices, as I explained. So European 350 has a potential H&S top and looking to move lower. Okay, German DAX at the moment certainly did um, uh, was has been capped at uh, 11,850. You have resistance at 11,860 and then gap fill around the 11,900 zone. Uh, we also have gap fill at 11,950 and those two gaps have failed to be filled and that certainly isn't a good sign. So certainly weakness in terms of the German DAX and as you can see, like I explained before, uh, all the European indices portray this potential pattern. Oh, it's bearish. It's a very, very bearish pattern is the H&S formation. So therefore indicating to you that European markets are headed lower, which in turn obviously would send the uh, your US markets lower as well. So really it's an indication from an intermarket analysis perspective that uh, you are looking at a potential top uh, in US equities. Okay, so the French CAC again reminiscent of a market top. You have this bear flag formation that's been forming and this is what, exactly what I'm expecting down to uh, 4750. So looking for risk aversion here, okay. Uh, 60 minute chart as well. You're looking at resistance to topping tail here around the 4867, 4870. Everything looking uh, risk off, okay. 10 minute chart as well into res resistance, everything indicating a move lower. In terms of the FTSE 100, again looking for weakness. We've been consolidating within the uh, February 24th red candle. Certainly looking bearish, okay, no real thrust higher. 60-minute chart has been very obedient. We did hit a pivot high of 7280 today, but we have held previous support equal resistance into that FIB 61 to 75% resistance. 10-minute chart, obviously you're looking at double top, looking at weakness here on the 10-minute uh, chart. So again, previous support equals resistance. Okay, uh, previous support equals resistance here and double top. So looking for weakness on the FTSE 100 too. In terms of the European or Euro stocks at present, you certainly got a bearish engulfing candle go going into the close. You're certainly looking at H&S formation top, looking for a reverse on, looking for a move lower. And 10 minute chart itself, previous support equals resistance again. Same sort of concept, okay, double top here as well. Certainly looking to move lower back down to that 3300 zone, okay. So really from my understanding, uh, really you have risk off. So uh, basically, what's my interpretation of uh, Mr. Trump's speech? Uh, really, it's for my understanding as far as that uh, Mr. Trump's speech will be negatively perceived and you are going to go into a risk aversion mode, which in turn will trigger the uh, H&S formation, the German DAX, and we look to potentially uh, test the lows, okay? Uh, and that really is a summation. On that note, please do uh, visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.